Hi guys, how's it going? It's time for our holiday gift guide. I've got 10 things to show you that I think are really cool and that would make for a great gift for anybody on your list or even for yourself. We've been partnering with Gardner Supply Company for quite a number of years. This is actually our third holiday gift guide we've done with them and I always look forward to it because basically what I do is go through their catalog and pick out things that I think are really neat. So let's just get right into the list. The first item is this galvanized chicken wire basket with a terracotta pot. I love galvanized chicken wire things in general. The addition of something so simple can elevate something so normal like a terracotta pot into something more unique and special. And I think that this would make for a great gift for teachers, coworkers, hostess gift. I mean, you can toss just an inexpensive house plant like a fern or an ivy or even like a little succulent and that would be wonderful. You could even toss in a few seed packets or something you've homemade like cookies or fudge. I would love that. And I think it could be something both really pretty and inexpensive. So the basket is four and a half inches in diameter. The pot is four inches and it does come with a saucer. Next up is this galvanized seed saver kit. And I got really excited when I saw this seed saving idea because I think it's a really practical solution to keep your seeds safe and dry and organized in a really pretty way. I love when the two can meet practicality and pretty. I've had to work to keep mice out of my seeds. I've had to deal with it more than once in the past. So that's why I was really loving this idea. It comes with dividers to help organize your seeds by planting season type or whatever system makes the most sense to you. And the paper that they're made with feels really sturdy. It also comes with a few paper seed envelopes in case you want to store some of the seeds that you've harvested from your own garden. So the box is eight inches by six and a half inches and six and three quarter inches high. Next up are these Songbird Tweets Birdseed Bee Scap Ornaments. And I just think that these are so cute. I think that they would make for a fun gift for any bird lover in your life, as well as for kids. What a great way to get them involved in helping feed the birds throughout the winter months. So they're made of things that birds love, like red and gold millet and sunflower chips that provide them some nourishment during the cold leaner months. So the set comes with three solid seed cakes that are shaped like bee skeps and one seed cake that's shaped like a bee. Number four is a veggie gardener's gift basket. And I'm not sure that there's a gardener out there who wouldn't love to receive this basket full of goodies. And I like this gift concept because I think it's good not only for the seasoned gardener, but also for newbie gardeners because it contains pretty much everything you need to go all the way from seed to harvest. Starting of course with the garden hod, which is the basket. I love this type of basket. I use them all the time out in my garden, not only for vegetable harvest, but also for harvesting flowers and carrying around tools. So the basket itself is 16 inches long, nine inches wide and seven inches high. There's four packets of organic non-GMO seed and each basket will include varieties that vary just a little bit. But in my basket, there were um, California Wonder Bell Peppers, Provider Bush Beans, Green Finger Cucumbers and Genovese Basil. There's also several four inch wood plant markers, biodegradable pots, reusable plant ties, ratchet pruners, there's some seed starting mix, some fertilizer. There's also a marking line for your garden that helps you get really straight garden rows and the Gardener's Supply Lifetime Potting Trowel, which was my number one most used hand tool in my garden this year. Number five is the Complete Intervail Garden Tool Collection. This is the most attractive tool collection setups I have ever seen. I'm not really good at keeping all of my stuff organized, so the fact that they have a nice little box to all be set up in is an added bonus. There's six hand tools, a cultivator to help work up the soil, a trowel for digging, a transplant trowel that helps plant smaller things like small seedlings. There's a dibbler that also helps with planting. It helps to plant bulbs, seeds, and other small seedlings. There's a garden fork that helps you cultivate the soil and work amendments in. And there are a pair of pruners that can help with cutting back plants, pruning, and deadheading. All the tools are made of black and stainless steel with aged ash handles, which I think makes them really pretty. And the set also comes with gloves, plant markers, and a notebook. The case is made of pine. It's 17 and a half inches long, 13 inches wide, and four and a half inches high. And I think that this makes a great gift for any gardener, even gardeners with lots of tools, because you can never have too many tools. Number six is this indoor potting box and tools. Can you tell I'm a sucker for sets yet? I just think it's so nice when you have everything all in one handy location. And that's my problem with houseplant chores. I do not have a setup yet that it makes it easy for me to work on stuff. I have to gather things from all different areas and I make a huge mess. I also think this would make a great gift for anybody who lives in a kind of apartment living sort of situation where they don't have a garage or a garden shed or even for those of us who do, it's just nice to have something inside that's always at the ready. You can work on things like grooming, repotting, propagation, maybe even a little seed starting. 
and that lid, when it comes down, it becomes your work surface, so it keeps all of your mess contained and it's very easy to clean up. It's also got a whole bunch of tools like a mini cultivator and trowel, metal snips, terracotta pots, gardening gloves, tweezers, twine, a brush, a mini broom with bamboo dustpan, and a rubber blower. The box is made from ash wood and is about 17 inches long, 13 inches wide, and six inches high. Number seven is this teak bowl succulent garden. I just think that this is the most gorgeous garden. I mean, who wouldn't love to have one of these on their coffee table or anywhere in their house? And the fact that it's made from real teak wood means that all of them are unique. There are no two gardens that are the same. Each teak bowl comes already planted up with three Haworthia succulents, and I think that's a really great choice because Haworthias are really low maintenance, and they can handle a little bit lower light than most succulents. So it makes it really ideal for newbie gardeners or really busy people. So each one of these gardens is unique and they're all shaped just a tiny bit differently, but they're roughly 10 inches by nine inches. Number eight is this Nocturne Pot Obelisk. And I love almost every obelisk that I come across, but this one is unique. I haven't seen one quite like it. So it's got a brushed bronze finish, but it has this beautiful foil ribbon that kind of starts at the base and then twists up to the top of the obelisk. It's made of powder coated steel, so it's extremely sturdy, great for growing vines up, but it would also look pretty, I think, outfitted with fairy lights. And I think it's ideal as a gift because it's really pretty, but it's also narrow. So it'd be easy for anybody to tuck it anywhere in their landscape or in a container. Uh, the diameter is about 10 and a half inches and it installed once it's pushed into its pot or the ground, it sits about 48 inches high. Number nine is this winter woodland advent calendar. And I have such fond memories growing up with an advent calendar. My brother, sister, and I would take turns opening up the doors and enjoying whatever treat was behind it. It was usually chocolate. And this is gonna be Aaron and my first Christmas with our new baby Benjamin. And I really want him to have the same memories as well. This advent calendar is gonna be so fun to fill up with little gifts and treats. Aaron and I will probably enjoy it a little bit more the first couple of years. Um, but Benjamin will be able to partake as he gets a little bit older, but so fun to have something to look forward to every day until Christmas comes. I love the size and look of it. I think it can really become a statement piece and fit in with my decor. I think the style is really versatile. So it's about 20 inches square and three and a half inches deep. And the last thing, number 10, are these potted amaryllis with a stake. Amaryllis are a holiday classic. Our home would not be holiday ready without a few amaryllis potted and sitting around in the house. And the great thing about these is that they come already potted. It's a no assembly, no work gift. All you have to do is watch them grow, give them a little bit of water every once in a while, and they even have that little brass stake that you can put in there as they grow to help support their stems. I've had these particular amaryllis in these beautiful birch pots from Gardener Supply in my home for the last several years. And I have to say that even after the amaryllis are done blooming, I love to use those birch pots for something else, like for housing flower arrangements or other house plants. And that's it guys, those are my 10 picks for a holiday gift guide. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of them, maybe getting some ideas for somebody on your list. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one, bye.